I think that dry fly fishing is the purest form of fly fishing. Every year I eagerly await the late summer months because that means it's trico time. Now to me, the ultimate test in dry fly fishing is feeding big fish tiny little flies. And that's exactly what the trico hatch is all about. Oh buddy, let's go. All right boys, we're out here. It's a beautiful day central Montana. This particular river has a really amazing trico hatch and a trico is just like a tiny tiny little mayfly bug and these fit these the females come out at night and you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. The females come out in the night the males come out in the morning they make these mating columns and then they die and right now we're we're probably about an hour away from like prime time death of of trico spinnerfall and these fish just come to the surface and it's a pretty amazing spectacle it's really good dry fly fishing and it's something i love to do so we thought hey you know thursday why not let's go see what's going on over there and so we're out here pretty excited and uh we're probably about a quarter mile from the first spot i want to stop at so today we're just kind of cruising with the boat boat position's pretty big deal here um, getting set up right on right on top of the risers you're trying to find pods of, of feeding fish and hopefully we can illustrate that to you uh, happy to be out here and do a little head hunting for some trout stick fish here During the trico hatch, you're usually fishing tiny flies. Size 18, size 20, 22. These flies are all super common for this hatch. And there's just something so cool about watching a big fish come up and sip that tiny little bug. Now in this game, drift is king. You have to make a perfect drift. When you're fishing this hatch, the bugs are dead and dead things don't move. Yeah, it broke me off. I need to take a break. Just chill out for a second. We're downsizing to something even more I can't see.
round trip. That's what I'm talking about right there, boys. Whew. Finally got one for the boys. That was, took long enough. Got a flotilla coming down behind us, but a little, little perseverance never hurt. Whew, just been getting my butt kicked all day, but there's still a few over here rising. I think I f figured out the bug they want, and hopefully we can catch a few more. I had missed five. Had five fish eat, and I finally landed that one. Nice brown. Dude, I'll tell you what, you better have some strong arms if you're doing Well, long range release that one. That's alright. Dude, that'll get your arm sore. Let's have some lunch, eh? One of the toughest things is watching your fly drift by dozens of fish that are feeding heavily on the naturals, yet refusing your imitation. Eat that, eat that, eat that. Oh my goodness. But that frustration makes it that much more rewarding when you do finally hook one and get it to the net. Another key to catching these fish is making sure that you place your fly first. You want to set yourself up above the fish and let your fly drift down into the pod of rising fish. The smallest fish in the Missouri River. Oh my goodness. Penny dog. Story of my life. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? I didn't see you there. So, it's about 3.30 and we were planning on leaving at 3. So, I think our time is up here. I thought it was a pretty productive day. Um, while not getting some fish to the net was kind of the case today, um, hooking into seven or eight fish on, on dries is, is pretty pretty good for me. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Today was just a fun day. So, hope you guys enjoy the fishing content. We'll keep it coming. See you on the next one. Thank you for watching.